Christmas. Mm, Mum, what, what day is it today? Did you know it's uh, a new month? Oh yes, it's the first of, um, of, of March. What year? I'm saying a mass for me. They're saying a mass for you today? Yes, oh, 12 and, o'clock. And the year? Um, uh, 12, 12. 2012. 2012. You're telling me about your early days? Yes. This is for Felicity, isn't it, in particular, your granddaughter, yes. who's two? Yes. Um, so, um, it was before the days of penicillin, and I had acute bilateral otitis media in both ears. Say that again? It's the bilateral. Acute bilateral otitis media. Both my ears were um, septic. Mm. And uh, I had bandage all around my head. And um, my parents, who were very religious, put a medal of St. Benedict amongst the bandages. And uh, eventually it um, cleared up, this acute bilateral otitis media. I was in bed for a long time. And um, then I remember <laughs> Daddy uh, came in and I sat on his lap. And he was playing with a record and broke it. Oh, because <laughs> records were made of shellac in those mm, days. Yes. And they played at, well, some of them played at 16 RPM, but yours played at 78 RPM, do you think? I think 16, I think it was a small one. Oh, I don't think, okay, I don't think it's according mm. to size. Yes. Um, um, and uh, then, so that was that episode. And uh, the, there was just Monica and me at that time. Yes, Monica's, Monica's your sister. And we yes. lived in 47 Fairholm Road. In which town? Croydon, but further over near Thornton Heath. Mm. Mm. So, um, I don't know whether Felicity knows who Monica is. Would you like to talk about Monica? Well, she was my big sister, who was two years older than I was. We were the best of friends. We always did things together. Mm. Had our photos taken together, that sort of thing. So, um, mm. Felicity's mum, Margaret, doesn't have any sisters. She's only got three brothers. That's right. What would it have been like just to have had Michael as a brother and no sisters? You wouldn't have had a close friend then, would you? No, no. Monica was my friend until she went to the convent. Mm. We did things together like go on cycle. Well, you dance. still liked her after she went to the convent. Oh, yes. You didn't, yes, ta you didn't take the communicator. Was, but she was removed. <laughs> <laughs> right. Mm. So, do you think she was a bit too cloistered when she was in the convent? Would you have liked to have. Oh, no. She was very happy there. They had lots of young nuns, mm -hmm. novices, and they laughed a lot and climbed the apple trees and picked the apples at. Rides Hill, which was near Guildford, mm. and had a house there. There's a mm. s there's research being done on nuns. Um, so this is the start of a book called Authentic Happiness by Martin Martin Seligman, oh. and he looks at um, nuns were asked to write mm. about you know what was going on for them at the time they went into the convent, mm. and depending on whether it was the fulfilment of what all they wanted to do in life or a resigned, miserable choice that they were making because they couldn't think of anything else to do in life, oh, yes. determined their life expectancy. She'd always wanted to be a nun. Yes. Unfortunately, she did die young, though. Uh, well, 48, I mean, so... Mm -hmm. It was... Um, she was a nun for more than 25 years. Right, oh yeah, that is a long time, isn't it? Yeah. I remember her for one toy she gave me in particular. Um, you know, I was about eight or nine. Oh, yes. I could work it out probably how, how old I was when she Peter died. Peter was fond of her. There's a picture of him sitting on her knee, mm -hmm. you know, when he was about four and she was a nun. All right, mm. I don't know that picture. No. Okay. And then I was going to write about um, starting school. Um, well, I had to start school late because after this acute bilateral otitis media, I had my tonsils out in. Uh, a London hospital, Golden Square, mm -hmm. and uh, I was very unhappy there. I only stayed overnight, I think. But I was so you wouldn't recommend having your tonsils out because you're unhappy. Oh, it was peculiar those days. They put a big uh, 
rub a bag over your face. I hope they've had some to, coals for you to breathe through. Um, I, I should think so. This yeah. is to um, um, anaesthetise you. Ah, right. Mm. Well, I know maybe they didn't have any holes to breathe through because they put ether in it for a few seconds and ah. then, what was, what's it called? I've forgotten the stuff, not ether. Formaldehyde? No, it's not that one. Mm. Ah. Anyhow, not to worry, they use it in the film Brighton Rock because you recently saw the second version of the film Brighton yes. Rock. And they, chlorophyll. Oh, chlorophyll? Yeah. Chlorophyll in chloroform. plants? Chloroform. Chloroform. Mm. That's what they use. Yes. <coughs> and, um, and I, so then I went home in a taxi with my mother past um, Buckingham Palace. I was only about How four old? then. That's the first time you saw Buckingham Palace. Did you say, when I grow up, I want to be a queen? No. What did you want to be? No idea. What did you think of Buckingham Palace then? A little bit more about what it's like as a four-year-old to see Buckingham Palace. Yeah, you know, I get muddled up with, um, uh, when we were very young, a book I had said changing the guard at Buckingham Palace. Christopher, Christopher Robin's uh, going down with Alice. Alice is my own world, of course. But that was when we were in Brockham. That was a few years later. Ah, Brockham. And, um, <clears throat> and so I went to school in Yale Kindergarten at the Rocking Horse Fair, which I went on sometimes, and there was an old teacher called Miss Chickle. Chickle? Like Chuckle, but with an eye? Yes. And you know, uh -huh. sort of an old lady, lady with a shawl, more or less, mm -hmm. and she taught us our uh, letters and numbers of all the old I hope she pictures. taught them to you in the right order. The pictures of it wouldn't be, it'd be cruel Jenny to teach them in the wrong order. Fly their kites and that sort of thing. Jack and Joe went up the hill. <clears throat> yes. And then after the year, after the kindergarten, I went to the year of transition with um, Mother Patricia. Who's Mother Patricia? One of the young nun. She was a very good teacher. What order? Well, Ladies of Mary. Well, everyone you knew was Ladies of Mary because Coloma was Ladies of Mary? Yes, yes. Right, okay. And uh, um, so, um, when she taught us our catechism, then, uh, you know, we learned it properly. Who made you? God made you. Why did God make you? Yes. God made me to know him and love him, serve him in this world and be happy with him forever in the next. And Which is what you're looking forward to. Yes, well, yes, it's one of the first things I learned. But you're looking yeah. forward to being happy with... Well, um, yes, I'm trying to think of my sins and that sort of thing. I got a lovely card from John Wren, um, who, you know, he said, um, you know, trust in God for your future, and can you read it shortly? Yep. <coughs> and um, you also said to me, you know, that you're looking forward to seeing your mother and Monica again. Yes, yes. Okay. And my father. All right. I have, you know, he died, I'm 45, and he died before I was born. Yes, I so was I, I haven't even, I haven't when even... I, when I went to um, the funeral. his funeral, yes. All right. Were, were you greatly upset? Pregnant. And then we went to, um, on a holiday in uh, North Wales. Right. I was still pregnant, yes. You can say that with a smile, but surely it was a sad time when your dad died. Um, well, I think it was one of those things. He was, he'd been sickly for a long time. He was it, was that partly because of the war? Did he suffer uh, anything in the war? Well, I don't think his last sickness was anything to do with that. But he may have been he, weakened uh, earlier in life. Leukemia he had. Right. He has had it. Okay. Yeah. So we will mm -hmm. pause the recording now unless there's oh, any final well, words you want to say. Way to it's an easy way <laughs> yeah, to <I> reminisce. <laughs> okay, any any final words to Felicity for this recording? What do you um, wish for her in the coming few years? Is it, how old is she now? She's, she's two. Two, yes. So, um, actually, I've got beyond two. I've started Have school. You? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <clears throat> yeah, I can't remember being two, and I don't know whether you can. But presumably, oh, you'd I like... Oh, naughty girl. Well, that, that, oh, well that's a cliffhanger for next time. For I next time, we'll... Lying or you could give, give a little taster of being a naughty lying girl. Lying on the kitchen floor in front of the gas stove, kicking and screaming. 
but and it's just called having a paddy. And if you're a part, if you're from an Irish family, it's probably more normal. <laughs> and whenever I had my hair washed, I was a great, great trial to my mother. I used to be sent up to bed after <laughs> afterwards. Didn't like having my hair washed. I think you enjoyed being Monica a naughty girl good. a little bit. I, I wasn't. <laughs> Did you enjoy being a naughty girl, or were you really upset when you were screaming? Um. Yeah, no, it was just me. Yes, 